Hi learners, welcome back to my YouTube channel Psychology Globe. I am Simran and today I am back with a very interesting video in which we are going to discuss three theories of forgetting. So before we start the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon. So the topic for today's video is why do we forget? So this is the question that we usually ask ourselves that why do I forget certain concepts or why I am not able to memorize them when I need them the most. So today we are going to discuss three basic theories of forgetting. We are not going to go into any deeper reasons of forgetting. So the first theory of forgetting is known as the theory of trace decay. So the theory of trace decay says that whenever we try to memorize something, whenever we try to learn something or store something in our memory, then there are certain changes that take place in our central nervous system. Our central nervous system, it includes our brain and our spinal cord. So there are some changes that are going to take place in our brain and spinal cord and these changes are known as memory traces. So this theory postulates that whenever any particular memory trace for any particular concept it is not used for a long time then it decays. So this is the reason this theory is also known as the disuse theory. However, this theory is criticized on several grounds. For example, it happens with most of us that whenever we learn something just before sleeping, we are able to better remember it as compared to when we are awake for a long time. So now let's discuss the second theory of forgetting which is known as the theory of interference. The theory of interference says that whenever we learn or memorize something, we always do it in form of certain associations or we try to interlink various concepts. For example, if I say what it means to forget, then the answer will be forgetting is the inability to memorize something. Then the further question that arises is then what it means to memorize. Memorize is to recall and retrieve something and so on. So we have made an interconnection, we have made an interlink between various concepts and whenever there is any disturbance in this interlink, then we are certainly going to forget something. So there are two types of interference. The first is proactive interference which is also known as forward interference. It means that whenever we have learned something in past, it is interfering our learning in future. For example, if I know English and I am finding it difficult to learn French because I get confused between English and French words, then this is an example of proactive interference. The second example is Sorry, the second type is retroactive interference, which is also known as the backward interference. Backward interference takes place when due to our subsequent learning of a new concept, we forget what we learned in past. For example, if I shift to another country where French is mostly spoken and I'm daily speaking French and I'm learning French, so chances are there that after some years, I'll start forgetting English. This is because retroactive interference is in place. Due to me acquiring a new language, a new skill, I will start forgetting the past skill. So this is all about the theory of interference theory of retrieval failure. Now what does this theory says that whenever we memorize something, we use some hints from our past knowledge to aid our subsequent learning. Now this theory is somewhat similar to the theory of inter inter interference in the sense that theory of interference, it talks about certain associations and this theory talks about hints. For example, if I'm asked to remember five words, let's say dog, gold, red, shirt and rose. Now if these are five words and I am given only 
two minutes to remember them and if I'm asked after 30 days that what were those five words you were asked to memorize then chances are there that I may forget one or two of them so there are certain hints that I can use to remember them for example red and rose it can go together and I can remember dog gold and shirt as uh, DGS red rose so if I chunk this information into smaller information that then it will it becomes certainly easier for me to remember so this theory ultimately says that if we are using inappropriate cues if we are using inappropriate hints then chances are there that we are more likely to forget the information so this was all about the three theories of forgetting in the next video i am going to discuss the hints or the techniques we can use to enhance our memory till then take care goodbye